Greetings fellow tower defence nerds and welcome to Rogue Tower. Quite possibly the most addictive game in the world. I just can't seem to put this one down. I've absolutely been loving it. Um, it is fundamentally just a tower defence game, but it's got some really cool little features like the world's largest tech tree, which has got so much for you to unlock. Um, I really barely only scratched the surface and different towers and stuff to unlock and different upgrades, fire, bleed, poison damage, car draw upgrades, loads and loads of stuff. But anyway, without waffling too much about some of the game mechanics, let's just hop into a game. So here we go. Here is Evo Tower, a glorious monument to me. And essentially, we've got to defend this tower. It has 14 hit points and every time an enemy touches the tower, then it loses a hit point. Unless it gets touched by a boss, in which case it's game over straight away. We currently have only access to one tower, which is a little ballista. So let's place one of them down. So this will shoot at enemies, and we get to pick in which direction we expand the map. Currently though, we've only got one road, so we can only expand in this direction. And when we do it, it spawns an enemy. In this case, only one, and he died really rather quickly. But once at some point you'll find the road splits into like two or three ways, and then you can start to pick which way your road goes and, and pick the map and explore that way. Um, you also get, I've noticed, like a bit of benefit if you get on high ground. That gives plus one, and this gives plus three. So if you look at like this tower, its base damage is 143, and this tower is only 110, and this has got further range because it's like on the high ground as such, so it can sort of shoot down on enemies as they come along. So putting your towers on high ground seems to make a real good difference. So we'll get a couple on there, let's expand further down this way. Only a couple of enemies this round, so really not going to be difficult at first. But believe me, it starts to get pretty difficult pretty quickly. So every two rounds, we basically get an upgrade card. So for example, we could unlock a flamethrower as a new tower. But to be honest, I don't really like them. Um, you could do critical damage, a mana bank, a mine, sorcery, or heavy shafts, which does um, increase ballista damage to armour because you'll see shortly enemies have three different types of health. None of them are really exactly what I would like to be honest. Um, probably just gonna go for heavy shafts. Let's go for that. Not really a great start there. And you'll also be noticing that every time I'm building a ballista it's getting more and more expensive and so that means you start to struggle to put too many of one tower type down. Okay, aha, now we've got some slightly better picks oh, for level four for our next round. So two towers that I really want. This Tesla coil, I really like it, and it does shield damage, which we'll kind of come on to later on. And we also want the mortar, because it's just epic. <laughs> I love the mortar. We haven't quite got enough gold to place one down yet, but we should do shortly. Ah, oh, you see look, these people with yellow on their health bar, that's armor. And you'll notice the ballistas don't really do very well against armor, but the mortars do. So once we get a mortar, you'll find you'll see it's actually much more effective against these armored users. Um, we'll probably put a tester tower on that little bit there. So we'll stick, where are we going to stick our mortar? Of course, we don't know which way the road's going to twist. Let's stick one up here. And I'm going to set it so that it mostly targets armor users. That's what I've found to be the best so far. Oh, we're going in a right old straight line this time. We're going miles away from our tower. Normally, it sort of kinks off in a right direction and you can sort of get it to loop back round. Oh, here goes the mortar shot. Ba -dum. Oh, I see the amount of damage it does. It has huge amounts of AoE splash, which makes it so effective. Really, really love those mortars, although it missed then. <laughs> so sometimes it's a little bit hit and miss, but they are honestly really quite good. We'll get another mortar up shortly. But there we go, we just got our next um, card. I think probably we'll go for our Tesla coil. We don't need to build them quite yet because we don't get shield damage to later on. Sort of level 15 or something? I don't know, it seems to vary. But when you get shield damage, the enemies are like got dark grey on their hit points. And then you'll realise quite how challenging those are to deal with. So the waves are starting to get quite a bit bigger now. It's amazing how quickly it ramps up. This will definitely be our Tesla coil spot here and here. Oh, they're going to be two nice ones for Tesla coils. But that brings me on to another point. These Tesla coils, they use mana. And we have a limited amount of mana. It's currently recharging at plus three a second with our maximum cap. So that means we need to get mana siphon set up, but I haven't unlocked that as an option yet. So yeah, it starts to get pretty complicated this game pretty quickly. But that's kind of what makes it so addictive. Go on, get him. Nice. Oh, we have our first road split. 
See, now there's two possible road options, which means the number of enemies is really increasing because they're going to come from both ways now. And next turn, I can pick to go this way or this way with my choice. So you can see what I mean when it starts to get more complicated. Oh, this little mortar's getting tons of AoE splash damage. Exactly what we want. Oh, that's a really good investment, actually. It's really earning its, earning its keep here, doing the damage. And then by the time they actually get around to the rest of the stuff now, a lot of them should hopefully be damaged. And stuff like this, low health, should just get wiped out by the Tesla Tower. Nice. Yeah, look, he got insta-killed by the Tesla Tower. Oh, Tesla Tower's earning its keep. Doing some good damage. Look at that, they're getting slaughtered now. They're not even getting close. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's looking pretty good for us. Uh... A little ballista up there. At some point, I might want to try and get a slowdown tower, so I don't want to... Oh, there we've got another road! Oh, no, that's not good. Every time they're splitting and giving you another road, that's more and more enemies you've got to deal with. Starting to get a little bit out of hand. It's only level 12. We need to be getting to 25. So all these extra roads are going to cause us quite a lot of problems. We also get now these little battering rams. So you'll see that they have a load of armor, but they're quite slow. But when you destroy these guys, you're going to get three, four, five enemies spawn out of them and then sort of go to work trying to cut you down. So they can be a little bit problematic and quite hard to deal with. As we get the first wave of them, the only benefit is because it's now such a long way for them, they actually arrive quite separately to the defences. A little mortar, really sort of slowly hammering them all down. Oh, he leveled up. Oh, this isn't looking quite a little bit of stuff starting to push through here. Going to be testing some of the back defense towers. Oh no, Ballista's doing work. They're doing a good job. Good job, Ballista's. All those on the plus three really kind of helping us out. Nice, nice, nice. Got a few of these little um, siege towers coming out. You can see how it's let some more people out of them because the way it got destroyed. These are all super low health, so these are all going to be going down very shortly. Boop. And then they all spawn out. Here we go, the next waves. <laughs> <laughs> Ends up throwing quite a few of them at you. Um, I suppose we could think about setting up some early ballistas, maybe. Where are we going to throw some of these? On some of the little bits of high ground we've got available to us. There we go. Okay. So we could have bleed damage for ballistas. Oh, or frost balls. All ballistas slow enemies for 5% of the damage they deal. Ah, mana siphon. That's what we need. We've got to go for that. So these only cost 100 gold, but you see these little cubes here are mana cubes. So you do that and basically you get plus one mana per second. It is a bit of an investment, I suppose, but ultimately we need that to be able to sustain our Tesla towers, which basically use three mana per second. Keep expanding. Hey, we're finally tipping in the right direction. You can see if we can get our road to come into range of our little mortar towers, then we're going to be able to set some up here and oh, it'll, be, it'll be glorious. We'll be able to slaughter the enemies as they get too close. Oh, here's the boss. Here we go. Oogie. Oogie boogie. As he waddles along. <laughs> Thankfully, he's quite a bit slower. I'm actually going to have a fair bit of work to do here. I'll get a Tesla tower set up here in a second if I can. Let's quickly get one in there. Try and take down some of these enemies because we've got a lot of people still coming at us. And Oogie is actually pretty close isn't going to be so good for us. There's quite a lot to deal with. They've basically done no damage to him so far. Yeah, a little bit concerned. A little bit concerned, if I'm honest. You know, our mortars are still firing, but there's a lot of enemies to deal with, as well as the whole of Oogie to deal with. We've got to start getting shots on him, because we're just so focusing on the smaller enemies, because they're the ones that are furthest ahead. Come on, get your shots in on Oogie. Oh, I'm... Starting to get pretty concerned here. Let's get another, start to get a few more Ballista Towers in. Come on, get your shots in on him. Okay, that health multiplier damage is coming in. Okay, we might be okay. Coming down towards half health. Here we go, half health. He's got a way to go. Come on, bring him down. I don't want to go and lose already. Oogie Smash, he's got a little bit of a boost because he's getting close to the tower. Come on, Ballistas. Come on. Sound like I'm in a porn film, but go! Whew. Okay. That was closer than I wanted it to be. <laughs> I, I don't want the bosses to get that close to the tower. 
Whew. Okay, but now he's dead, you'll see he's dropped a treasure chest. We can open it and we basically get the option um, to get some random cards we can pick. So frost bolts, all blister enemies slow for 5%. I think that's worth having. We've got quite a lot of blisters set up. Burn damage would be quite nice, but I think we go for that. We've got a second one. Um, oh, that's really nice. Static permutation. All Tesla coils gain plus one damage to shields. The shields are going to start to become a problem. We've not seen them yet, but I know they're a nightmare when they turn up. Oh, we've got shielded enemies. Here we go. See the guys with the grey health bars? These are the shielded dudes, and they're really hard to kill. This is what the Tesla towers are here for. Even though they only chip away at them slowly, they do significantly more damage than things like the ballista towers, because you can see the shield multiplier on them. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult. You can see the little bit of slow effect coming in from the ballistas, which is nice to see. That's kind of cool. Yes, it's going to be a difficult one for us. Let's just upgrade some of the shield damage slightly. Because these ballista towers have got a lot of work to do to take these guys out. What are we going to spy next is the other question. I suppose we could actually squeeze in another Tesla tower, potentially. Just over here. Make their target shield. Oops. Helps if I can click correctly. How are we looking over here? It looks like we're taking them out. Okay, that slow is kind of nice because they're quite a slow unit anyway. By slowing them down even more, that's kind of good for us. And then the health damage. Look at the slow. Bomb. Nice. Okay, cool. That kind of went nicely. Um, who have we got? Just one guy left in the little dead zone before he starts to get shot at again. You can see when you get shot by the ballistas, they don't do very much damage. They do such a small amount of impact because they just don't have much shield multiplier damage. They do really poor base. But they are at least causing slow, which is nice. Ba -dum, ba -dum. And then when they get to the Tesla, you can see the extra damage they do is a lot more significant to get them below that shield margin, which is really nice. Keep expanding in this way. Our little weavy road, which is only going to really be able to weave its way all the way down. So we kind of know what our route's going to be for the next quite a long time. Uh, we could think about getting more Tesla Towers set up. Or do we just do more ballistas? I mean, they do add slow, which is kind of nice. Let's get a few in some of these little spots around here. So they add slow as they come in here. Oh, look, we've got the poison damage. A little bit of poison damage going on now from these Tesla Towers. A few of these fast ones are starting to try and make it through, but not really having a very easy time of it as we push on to level 19. 25 is our current current world record, so we've got quite a bit of work to do if we want to get there. Come on, let's keep this damage up. But we're really just slaughtering them before they really get anywhere. Oh, there's a right old straggler right at the back over here. It's absolutely miles away. But dump. There's a little, uh, a little tower's blast away. We could set up something like a mortar here on this side, actually, because then that probably cover a wider area. We'll perhaps do that once we get a bit more gold. Got a few more kills still to get. Mortars are getting pretty expensive now at 650 a pop. But we do thankfully have quite a lot of gold amongst us. As the Tesla Tower goes to work. Oh, look at the slow they get from the ballistas. Now there's only a few of them. Bring down the enemies. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm going to go for a little mortar here, because this is going to cover. Because it's on a plus three. That's such a big range. Going to cover a huge area. Let's get that set up like that. Nice. Who's left? Come on, Mr. Zombie. Get your ass over here. Let's get it dealt with. Just die. Come on, let's get all the little ballistas shooting at you. <laughs> Slow down so much. And there he goes. Okay, nice. Next level. Let's try and speed this up. The early mortars are opening up. I suppose we could set up a Tesla tower around here, but it's just a drain on mana, I suppose, is the risk. I don't know if we follow this to its, its end conclusion, if they eventually stop spawning or, or what. I don't, I don't really know. It'll be interesting to find out if we live that long. I don't know if we're going to... That would be like level 25. Things will be getting a bit challenging by then, I suspect. Only bumping up a little bit of our shield damage here on some of these towers. Still a fair bit out here, though, isn't there? Let's 
Toads naturally just seem to be going for Ballistas mostly because of their slowdown, to be honest. Look at how slow they apply across this whole range. Which really buys us quite a lot of time. And because their health damage is actually really quite good, they're actually still relatively effective against some of these units. Oh, mortars are merrily blasting away at everyone down here. At some point, I assume we're going to end up getting another boss level, though. Which is going to make things a little bit more challenging. A little bit tough, but should be okay. Um, we could go for another Tesla here, actually, because that'll give us a plus three, won't it? And that'll cover that area as well. And because it'll be a plus three, it'll have a decent range. That might be worth doing. And then we could put our Frost Keep kind of either side of it on a plus two, because this must be a plus two. Well, that's a plus one. Oh, that's a plus two, though. So we could put a Frost Tower here and here. And that means all the enemies, when we get the Frost Towers, of course, will then get slowed down in this kind of little gap here, which would kind of be nice. Um, what have we got left? Just a few enemies down here. I could almost do with being able to start another round before they turn up. Ba -dum, ba -dum. As the shells go flying in. Some of these ballistas have actually got themselves relatively leveled up because they're in combat almost all the time. So their health multiplier damage is really starting to get quite large. Tesla Towers going to work. Doing what's needed. Slaughtering these last few. They're not even going to get through here, are they? And all on the last guy. And there we go, he's down. Okay, so. Plus one damage to mortars. Interesting. Ooh, 15% crit damage. That would be quite nice. Yeah, let's get the crit damage then. Our ballistas really starting to expand themselves up quite a lot. Of course, these are going to end up making their way down here and be vulnerable this way as well. <laughs> it's going to be a slaughter at some point. Starting to get some new enemies coming in. I'm not sure what this sort of random floaty dude is, but I don't like it. He needs to die. Oh, he did. He did. He died. <laughs> get a little Tesla tower up on here. Let's get this focusing on the shield, guys. Oh, I upgraded the wrong thing. Crap. Oh, well. This is what it is. They'll do a bit of armor damage as well now. There we go. Our little, uh, little Tesla tower is going to work there in that part of the tower. We've got some new little, little white skeleton people. They look kind of uh, challenging to kill since they seem to be getting quite far. All these fast guys as well sort of flying through the sector. These guys still have basically made no progress at all. Oh, it's going to take ages for them to die, isn't it? Bit of stuff starting to make some progress. Getting a little bit closer to the tower, but still not really through. And we've still got quite a bit of stuff which can shoot at them and the mortars have got you know covering huge areas of the map as well which is nice this mortar actually just leveled up uh, we have got a bit of a weight on some of these guys i suppose we could set up a little uh, little tesla tower here get that one set up not going to kill them all but actually does a chair chunk of damage against some of these more armored people I suppose we could set up some of these entrances as well, since they all fly in from these two points here. <laughs> the little lone ballista tower. Yeah, you're going to struggle to do much damage there, mate. You're not really helping me all that much, if I'm honest. Although you're supposed to get a little bit of slowdown, which is kind of handy. Oh, quite a bit of slowdown on that health damage. He's probably been got quite high level because he's been shooting quite a lot, probably. The mortar rounds go in. Ba -dum, ba -dum. They're going to get absolutely slaughtered at this little point here. If nothing else, just the amount of mortar rounds that are going to come in as well as all the Tesla Towers they're about to reach. And look at all the slowdown they're getting. Nice. Okay. Well, we'll just keep expanding around here. I just want to know what happens when we're going to get to the end. Never done this before. It's like a new experience. That's why this game is so addictive. I keep finding new little bits to kind of look at and explore. Which just makes it so interesting. Um, quite a lot of stuff coming though now, it must be said. Uh, it's not going to quite be able to get much damage on some of these, but a little bit, a little bit. We'll keep setting up our little ballista towers around the area, where they are starting to get a little bit on the expensive side. A little bit. I did think about maybe refunding this one down here. Let's demolish that one. Let's move it essentially over here, because it's not doing anything. It has no levels. 
the time you get to hear one little flat ballista on the ground isn't going to make much difference to us. It's not really going to help us all that much. So I suppose we might as well just ignore it. All oh, these poor guys just get so shot up before they even, even basically get on the route to base. Oh, he almost went down, but not quite. Some of these little white skeleton dudes seem to be super well armoured, though. They're the ones that are taking the most damage. The hardest to kill. They're kind of flying around. There we go. He goes down. Um, I guess this is all we can really do is sneak in a few more ballistas, to be honest. Well, that's a lot of slow down. This, we've kind of got my two bastion areas of, of kind of here and here. And then these are all just kind of obviously the, the mortars getting the AoE damage early on. A few more white skeleton guys coming in. But look, they're almost dead already by the time they even make it to this area. <laughs> the slowdown they're getting on them now as well. And the ballistas clicking in the extra damage. Obviously, they've got that 15% critical damage now as well, which is nice. We sometimes get double hits. Oh, I wish this Tesla Tower could just get the kill. Because now we've got to wait for them to get all the way around here. Plus, they'll get the slowdown on the ballista. Oh, please let me start the next wave. <laughs> Come on, I wish you could speed enemies up sometimes. Oh, as those first mortar rounds start to go in. They might even get shot by this ballista very slightly, I think. They will, they will. A couple of cheeky hits. Go on, have him down. There we go, nice. Okay. So we get all towers gain plus one to health. So that's all towers, not just ballista. That's interesting. That plus two damage to shield for Tesla cores, which could be quite nice. Burn damage, bleed damage. I think we're going to give that plus two to shield. Because I know at some point we've got a shield boss, boss. And it's the one, the game level I lose on every time. It's impossible. But let's keep expanding. We're very near the end. I want to survive. Here comes the main wave out of these two little points here. Which is what's probably the hardest one. Going to work, trying to get the damage in. I really would quite like one of these um, frost towers shortly. It would be really nice to get a bit of extra slowdown just through these little core areas. I don't mind everywhere else. I don't want the wave to take any longer. But just through these core areas, it would make a difference. Because there's so many enemies now, even with all the ballistas, they can't slow everyone. So I think that would really help. Whereas a frost tower should be able to provide slow to most enemies at once. Mortars are merrily blasting away at everything that moves. You can actually see the average damage. Yeah, the mortars are well in the lead. Look, the damage per gold spent. They are racking up the armor damage. Tesla coils. Yeah, look at the shield damage from the Tesla coils. They're doing the work that I need them to do, which is to take down those shielded enemies. Quite a few people still heading down this route. Oh, looks like when these vampires die, they turn into something else. Oh, a little bit concerning. Slightly concerned. We've got a bit of a spare money, so let's get some... Extra little ballista towers set up down here. Deal with these last few. Okay, nice. They're dealt with. Um, what have we got left? A few little bits. Nothing too much. Should be okay here then now. As this tower levels up again. Doing more damage. Look at his health multiply now. 20. It's ridiculous. Pop, pop. As the last couple of shells go in. Still holding out. Still taking no damage on our tower. I think I might be able to class myself as a pro at this game now. I've certainly played it enough. I thought I'd just do this for a quick video, and I ended up spending about eight hours yesterday playing this game. Level 24. Here we go. <laughs> Only if we can survive this wave, we can find out what happens if you go to a dead-end square. The excitement. Genuinely curious. We should also get another um, upgrade then as well. Might get another tester tower in somewhere. But not quite sure where. We could put one here, but really, this main route is kind of where it needs to be, isn't it? Um, hmm, it's nice if you can get them on some sort of curve or, or sticky out bit, but I could put one here, but it's going to be on a bit of low ground, so it's not really going to do all that much damage. Stick one there, or there. How are we going to stick our little tester tower here? Let's go for one there. Better get some more mana siphons built as well. Oops. Let's get the shield damage upgraded a little bit. Mana siphons. Siphon me all that mana. Nice, there we go. 
Okay, these guns are going to start blasting in. It's a little bit of stuff here, but we've still got a lot of towers, a lot of ballistas to shoot in here. Look at all the slow they're providing as they're shooting in. Oh, they're even volley firing now on these ballistas. Boom. Oh, these guys are going quick. The slowdown, though, is taking them. That slowdown card is so useful on these ballistas because it means those quick guys that are trying to breach through have a really hard time of it. Got a little bit closer than we wanted, but he is down. Okay, we're still holding good on the mana. We could build another mortar, I suppose. Squeeze a little cheeky one on there. They can still shoot on both sides. We know they do a really good amount of core damage. Because they do good damage, actually, to both um, armored enemies, but also just to healthy people as well. You know, people with health damage they actually just do quite a chunk. Big little army of vampires coming through. Or I assume that's what they're supposed to be. They look vaguely like vampires. Yeah, because they turn into bats. That's what these are. Although they look more like Geodude, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think they're supposed to be bats. Okay, Tessa Towers, do your thing. And there we go, last one. Boop. Phew, okay. Bleed, Flame, no, Mine, Mana Bank, not interested. But the plus three damage? Ooh, gain a 3% chance to freeze an enemy. Kind of nice, but I think that, that, that static damage is going to be really nice. Look, they're getting a plus seven shield damage now. Some of these Tesla Towers doing so much shield multiplier. Which is what we need. But here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Are you ready? Oh, they get a portal. Ooh. I'm kind of slightly disappointed in the sense that it didn't uh, sort of kill the end run. But also kind of cool that I now feel like I'm playing a game of Snake. Where they basically <laughs> go on this massive circle all around. But yeah, set themselves up a little portal. That's interesting. Well, that's the end of that route then. So next time we're going to have to start to explore around this way. But the armoured boss is here. Okay, this is the hard bit. This is the bit I was kind of worried about. These little, um, this armoured boss is really quite hard to deal with. He's taking some damage, a little bit of bleed damage. To test the towers, we really need to do the damage. Look at that shield though, we're not even down a quarter of his health, or, or, or a fifth of his health. It's not really going to work, people. I think this is going to be game over if we're not careful. We're going to have to... Well, what can we do? Try and upgrade our shield damage on some of our Tesla Towers. He's getting slowed a little bit. There's an annoying amount of enemies running through him, which means the towers aren't really targeting him down properly. I'd rather some of these got through because it's game over if this guy reaches the tower. Take down Zombie Yugi! Come on, slow him down. Ballistas. Any upgrades we can do on these towers to give the maximum amount of damage. Come on, test the towers. Oh, he's still got over half his shield. It's not going to be enough. Ballistas are shooting in. I think he's going to get through. Not got enough money to buy anything else. He's the only real enemy left alive. Everything's shooting at him. This is going to be super close. He is really heavily slowed though, which is good. Well, we might do it, you know, we might do it. We've got quite a bastion of little ballista towers here. Fotly firing into Zombie Yugi. <laughs> Look how slow he's going now. I think we might do it. Yeah, because he's going to get onto health now, and then they should do it. Oh, he's reliefed. He's reliefed. He's even released some little mini guys. They're going to get through. They're going to get right through. Oh, my little tower. Oof. Okay, but he's going to survive. Oh, no, he's released three more. Okay, he's gone. It's not going to be game over, though, because these guys, even if they get through, which it looks like they may. Those little two ballista towers are not going to be able to stop that. Well, we have survived just about wave 25. That was harder than it looks. Oh, tower on six. Okay, we've got a couple of treasure chests to open though. Uh, Tesla Core is getting crit chance or poison damage. Oh, that's 20% but five more poison damage. Yeah, let's do that. That's kind of cool. And we've got one more. Uh, two to armor or all towers gain crit chance equal to their level but lose 1% one, one base damage. Mm, no, let's have a little damage to armor. Whew, okay. Next level. Oh, is that a funky 
This strange shrine holds an untold amount. Place a university to next to it. Oh, I don't think we have universities yet. We are not that advanced. Get a little bit of extra buildings down. We're getting some new looking enemies coming in here now. As we kind of expand our map. Even the uh, the colour of the grass has changed. We've got to such a high level. We're going uh, to we're gonna squeeze another little tester tower in here I think. Get his shield focus. Get a little bit of shield damage upgrade. So much stuff coming through. So much stuff coming now. These levels are getting more and more difficult. I love the fact that we've got a little portal. <laughs> it's like a little nether portal to the Minecraft dimension. Okay, towers doing their work. These are almost... What are these supposed to be? Like devils? Little... Little Satan's minions or something like that, I think. Quite a bit of stuff still coming through. I've got quite a bit of more gold to spend, I suppose. So where do you build these towers? I've just run out of high ground, really. Squeeze one on there. Oh, we can squeeze a few on here, actually. as some sort of backline defense towers. Our mana is starting to get pretty low, though. Definitely going to need a few more, a little bit of mana sustain. Oh, I can't actually fit any more on that one. Some of these these um, siphons are quite hard to get to. Get one there. I think that's all the ones we can place, is it? Oh no, we can maybe squeeze one there, can we? Yes, we can squeeze another one in there. Okay, our mana sustain is back up. Last few enemies kind of coming through the, uh, through the gauntlet. And they should be going down rather shortly. It's quite a clump. So the mortars can actually land and get quite a lot of AOE damage. Who's doing the most work at the moment? Still the mortars, followed by the ballistas. Tesla Core is on the lowest damage per gold spend, but they are doing the most important damage type, which is that shield damage. Two little guys coming through there going down really quickly. Last few people, last little vampire, wait for his little bat to spawn, immediately gets slowed by the blister towers and gets shut down. Okay. I think the only thing here that we'd want is burn to the Ballista Towers. Might as well have that. Might as well. Might as well. Um, I don't know, might as well start to expand down this way, I suppose. Level 27. I can't believe we haven't lost yet. This is going to make for an epically long video. Far, far longer than I thought it was going to. I have to do some hefty editing on this one. Oh, look, the Ballista Towers now do a little bit of burn damage to these guys. I'm sure we're going to end up suddenly reaching a point where we can't sustain them anymore and they suddenly start breaking through. But as of yet, we are not there. We really need to unlock new towers because our tower costs are just getting so insane. It just costs us loads to build each individual tower. Particularly these ballistas. Although we do get quite a lot of gold per turn now because there's so many enemies for us to kill. Let's keep upgrading the shield damage on some of these guys. That shield multiplier is just ridiculous. <laughs> shield gets slowed through the, the Tesla Tower section of doom. Look at all the Tesla Towers firing. Mana struggling a little bit on the sustain. Maybe we'll perhaps just throw up a few more mana siphons. Down here, because we can get access to this one. Oh, that should give us a little bit more mana sustain. It's actually running pretty low. I don't think we can build any more mana towers. Unless we can find a way of squeezing in. Oh, we've got one over here. I didn't notice this one. Oh, no. They're actually getting really close to the base. No. What can we... Uh, uh, towers? It's only got eight hit points left. It's recovered a little bit, but that's not going to be too much. No, all the little devils spawn. No. Three, two, one... Oh, no, it's game over. <laughs> we made it to level 27. New single defense record. That was honestly a really tough one. I'm impressed we managed to get as far as we did. And I was really pleased I managed to get to see this little portal. Well, that was a really fun game. That's my best effort yet. And as you can see why, hopefully, why this is such an addictive game. I suppose I've got a bit of experience now which I can spend to try and unlock some more upgrades. So I guess I'm going to have a play around and spend a little bit on that. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more random tower defense and addictive games. Thanks for watching, guys. and see you all on the next one.